Hi everyone, my name is Yvonne and welcome back. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Yvonne and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about strollers, um, wagons, and a little bit of in between. See which one is best for you. So let's get into it. First, I'm gonna start with the stroller. So I have the baby baby jogger, baby jogger stroller, and I believe it's called <laughs> City Mini GT2. It's called the Baby Jogger City Mini GT2. So I I went through a lot of strollers. <laughs> a lot of strollers. So I ended up sticking with this one the longest and i've had this for over a year now i think a stroller is great for any type of outing but it also is going to depend on the stroller that you have baby jogger has or city mini gts they had these rubber wheels so this for me was a must have in my stroller it goes over gravel, it goes over dirt, it goes over everything smoothly, especially if your child is sleeping. I find myself not using my stroller as often as I used to um, because my child is bigger now, so she likes to walk a lot. To this day, if we're going to, on a long amusement park day, if we're gonna have a long trip, if we're gonna go somewhere, anywhere really for a long period of time where she might have to nap I'm taking the stroller period so I take this stroller or I used to take this stroller to the grocery store to the park anywhere I went um, it has storage in the bottom I bought more storage to put to add on to there I also bought the tray which this one you can fit drinks in there and it has extra bag that you can strap onto the bottom and add more things to it. Um, this stroller has a pocket in the back, which I love. I keep an extra canopy back here. Um, and I also keep a first aid kit. Um, what else? Oh yeah, that's, that's basically, oh, well this too. It's her white noise maker, so when she does fall asleep, I have a clip on the other side for when we're walking, um, and I need her to hold on, because there's a crowd or something like that, so she'll hold on to this while we're walking. Um, but I now only use my stroller for when I'm going to the zoo, aquarium, I'm going to parks for a long period of time, um, where I'm taking, you know, a lot of snacks and lunch this, like this is a pretty good canopy it lays completely flat but anyways so that's the stroller that i use um let me show you the next one okay so i believe this one is called the dream on me coaster i'll insert a, something to, to correct me um, so this is the newest one that I just bought my kids. Like, look at how small this is. Super compact. Definitely not as easy to put together, I guess, and take apart when you're taking it out of your trunk. But you get the hang of it. Um, so this one I purchased for when we go to the mall. We make small trips where I don't have to go grocery shopping, where I might go out and buy my kids lunch or where we'll have lunch somewhere or dinner somewhere, but a place where we'll be at for a while where I don't have to carry that many things and I have this in case she gets tired because kids do get tired of walking. If we get tired, they get tired, much more tired than we do. But anyways, so let me show you how, yeah, it is called Dream Mommy. Okay, let me show you how to put this together. gives you 
such a smooth ride. Uh, a seat belt, a crotch buckle too. So you, it's a three point harness. It's actually a five point harness. I believe, no, is it? I think so. Yeah, because I took the top ones out. She doesn't need them. Um, this also turns, it has a bar right here that you can switch out. So you can completely take, this is why I bought it. You can completely take this part off and just be left with the seat. By the way, my child sits in here perfectly. She loves this thing. handlebar this like T handlebar right here and then you can just scoot with it so it turns into a scoot toy later on you can go down a small hill with it don't listen to that we'll bleep that out um, they can play around the house with it very smooth like can you guys hear that so smooth this one has no um, Suspension. The baby jogger has suspension in all three wheels, I believe. That's why I only use this when I go to the mall. Usually, that's the only place I use it. Uh, but I do want to challenge myself and take this to like the zoo or something. I do would like to challenge when it's not too hot, when I don't need a canopy, right? It's like I keep so many things in mind. But um. Now I'm gonna show you the wagon. I forgot to mention that I also purchased this um, cup holder. And you just tighten it onto your stroller. You can tighten it on, I use it on the wagon sometimes. So this is my wagon. It looks pretty big and it kind of is. Um, so this one has a seatbelt on both sides to strap in your kids. Perfect, right? And it also has pretty wide wheels. I've taken this to the beach and it is, well, let me tell you, when you're with your kid and you wanna take all these things to make sure that you guys are comfortable at the beach, having a wagon is so essential. You can carry your cooler, your beach tent or beach umbrella, whatever you're gonna take. All of your stuff can go in here and you can drag this one specifically so you can pull it and it comes with a push bar. The push bar you could remove. And you can remove it. So that alone, like come on, a push bar and a pulling handlebar. And of course it comes with extra storage, which is like the best. Comes with extra storage right here so you can put in whatever else you need to put in there. Um, then it has, what else? Brakes. It only has brakes on two of the wheels where the pull bar is at. Um, and this is where the canopy goes. So let me show you. Forgot my canopy, I'm sorry guys. But basically you just pop up these little guys. My kid loves helping me with this. You pop all four of those up. You put the canopy on top and then the canopy has Vel Velcro straps which you loop onto this so that in case it's windy, it doesn't blow it away. Like, yes. Um, I put reflectors on all of my strollers and all of my all my things, except for the coaster one. I haven't put any, um, or the Dream On Me glider. I haven't put any reflectors on that one, but all of my other stroller, this one, the strollers I had before these, all have reflectors on it, because you never know. So let me show you how it folds. It has a little pulling mechanism right here and you just pull it and it closes. And that's it. But like I said, it doesn't have a latch to keep it closed. It doesn't have anything to secure this. Oh, and it has uh, cup holders. I forgot to mention the cup holders. But it does have cup holders on that side. Let me show you. Right here and right here. What I also did to my um, wagon is I added, I purchased these um, stick-on foam 
a roll of, of foam and I stuck it onto here, I cut it to size and I stuck it on here because I didn't want my, my kid to hit her head, which she still sometimes has, but thanks to that foam being there, she's fine, right? She hasn't had any serious painful injury or anything like that. So this is pretty thick foam and it helps. So there's always things that you can do to your stroller or to your, to your um, wagons to make it more comfortable for your kid. I take this to the swap meet, I take this to the uh, food trucks, events, um, anything like that. And we go pretty often, so adding like outdoor flea market, I'm taking the wagon. I'm not taking the stroller, I'm not taking the other one, I'm taking the wagon. Also to the beach, to the lake, but so you guys get the hint. So I hope this um, helps you decide on what's best for you. Um, thank you guys for watching my video and I will hopefully have another video soon. Um, maybe something on how I travel to a park and the food that I take and how I prep for my day. Maybe I'm thinking about doing something like that next. Um, but anyways, thank you guys. Bye.